Hey yo 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 what's up man it's your boy see you SKL to the day Mr. Flo so good my tip but totally Mr. Skipper but my watch watch y'all already know but to back with you guys with yet another YouTube video for those of y'all that are new to this channel please do make sure to click that red button do subscribe also making sure to click the bell next to that red button because that's what makes sure that YouTube does notify you every single time we upload a video now the second biggest beef in the SA hip hop game, after the AK and Casper Nuves beef, the beef between Nasty C and Aries has reared its ugly head yet again. And I know it's not necessarily the same because the two artists don't seem to carry the same amount of animosity as you know Casper Nuves and AKA do, and as we've seen over the years with them eventually getting to the point where they slap each other, or you know. I think last week AKA was saying that he wants to get into a boxing ring with Casper Nuvest and knock him out and it seems as if Casper was reciprocating that, obviously eventually denying it in public. I don't think that this beef does get to that particular level but I think it's pretty clear at this point that Nasty C and Aries do not to an extent like each other um, and I do think maybe more so on Nasty C's part and it doesn't matter whether you think that that is because the two just don't like each other's guts or it's because of events that actually transpired in the industry that actually brought them to a point whereby both of them just do not want to make music with one another and seemingly do not want to be anywhere close to one another as far as the music business is concerned but for those of you that don't know already nasty c has actually come out yet again in an interview with slicker to actually reiterate what he's been saying that him and a reese will never ever make music with one another this is what he came out and said <laughs> Yo, Reese, I'm, I mean, yo, I mean, Ness, that won't be killed yet. Everybody's saying, I'm asking about Young Thug, and I know you talked about this a million times, so you know the next question. The next question is, what's up with Reese? Are y'all doing it? Are y'all going to do a joint? Are y'all good? You know, I promise you, that's, it's every second that's, question. That's, that's never going to happen. That's, that's never going to happen. You know, I did what I could to try and mend the situation, try and be a let out about it. I tried to make you some money. But they did what they did, and um, it's now that's just where we, where we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so y'all, everyone that's asking me about Dries, single Z again. Yeah, and again. Stop asking me that. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Every single place I go to, all these interviews I do, I always say that. I guess people wanted to change, but I'm, I don't want to change it. I'm good. Man. Well, I mean, look, I think. Um, what people know about Reese is that Reese is, I don't think it's nothing personal, it's just who he is, you know what I mean? As a person, he's not receptive. Well, personally, I've learned to not take it personally, you know, it is, it is who, he is who he is, you know, I don't think he's, he's, he's means any ill, but he's just is who he is, you know what I mean? So, hey, that's cool, man, but over there, I'm cool here. <laughs> that's I what it is, that's what it is. I don't think it's tired, man. It's so exhausting, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, man. That's so good, you know, as we move swiftly along, you know. Uh... Now, if you've been watching this channel, you guys will know that a few months back, I did come out with a video where Nasty C had basically come out on his live and actually, you know, casted Aries and pointed out the fact that him and Aries will probably never make music again. And this is him yet again coming out to actually reiterate that point and say that that is never happening and people should just let it go. Now, the reason I took interest in that video is obviously not that because I've made a video about that in the past. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. You guys can go check it out and hear my comments on that particular situation at that time. But what actually picked my interest in this particular video is what he says before he says, you know what, that will never happen. He's good with making music with Aries and that is I was trying to help that boy eat at that particular time and he did what he did and therefore I am no longer going to work with him now on that video where I spoke about this issue the last time I did say the fact that part of the reason I think Aries didn't honor the agreement between him and Nasty C to actually perform on the Iverson tour and for those of y'all that might need a background of what eventually actually transpired in that you know particular situation it was the fact that you know Nasty C came out and said look man I think it's time for me to do music with Aries. Uh, basically sent Aries through a, ba a beat and, you know, Aries was supposed to actually now sit down and, you know, uh, make, you know, uh, music with Nasty C. Um, it seemed as if Aries was reciprocative of that particular energy and he wanted to make the song and so on, you know, coming out on his Twitter hinting towards that. 
and after hitting towards that on his twitter basically then going on this freestyle with him and nasty c and shane eagle and technically you know he bodied all of them but both of you know the three of them actually held their own in that particular set up and it looked like things were actually going well up until nasty c actually invited a Wees to actually perform on the iverson tour i think i believe it was in durban and in pretoria and you know a Wees just basically didn't show up to both of them and since then on that's when you started seeing nasty c basically coming out and you know basically saying it's not going to work with a Wees. he doesn't see the reason to work with a Wees. and in this particular video as you can hear him he did what he did and i was trying to help him eat so the reason that you know the statement of i was trying to help him eat actually piques my interest is the fact that you guys will remember that i said on that particular video that perhaps a Wees is not showing up to the shows and is not doing you know the song with nasty c at this point because he feels like nasty c will then have the opportunity to claim that he actually built up a reese and i do believe that after hearing what nasty c is saying in this video that perhaps i might have been right because i think that that's actually a shot at a reese to actually suggest that you as nasty c you know although you are essentially more successful than a reese especially on an international scale we're going to help a reese eat because it's not like a reese wasn't eating already you know he was already successful who was already you know making money in the game is probably one of the top five artists in the SA hip hop industry as far as you know making dough and 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 getting shows and so on and so forth so the idea that nasty c was trying to help aries eat just goes to show you that to an extent there was an element in nasty c i do think that he would genuinely wanted to work with a to sort of get over the beef between the two of them but to an extent i think he was also trying to get the situation going where it seems like he's actually sunning aries or actually teaching aries the game and i think that's what actually eventually got aries to actually pull back and say listen i do not want this for my image i do not want it to look like i was built up by nasty c to an extent i built myself you know he has a song where he says he did this thing on his own you know type of thing and i think that's what you know eventually led him not to show up to the shows and i think when you hear this interview between slicker and nasty c and what nasty c says when he says i wanted to help him eat i think that's actually proven to the to that to an extent he was actually trying to use the situation to say i built up a reese because if you also remember in the bt freestyle he does actually mention there uh while he's rapping you know that all these rappers are his sons and he's here to help them eat and you can see him again reiterating this in this particular interview which tells you that he was trying to use a situation for that and what that says to me is it was essentially a good decision for aries to pull back because yes doing the shows with nasty c and eventually doing that song with nasty c would have probably gotten him out of the more you know uh secluded sort of industry outsider that's also an insider type of thing that aries has you know aries is is a big artist now you know in the game but aries mostly blew up off of the internet his his his, his crowd and his you know fan base is mostly an internet fa fan base and he doesn't necessarily always have the same you know clout that you know nasty c has for example in terms of radio and outside the south african context if you're talking about continentally talking about the whole you know of africa and if you take it to europe and what nasty c is now gaining as far as clout in america he does have a bit of clout in these areas but definitely not as much as a as nasty c and i do think that you know that feature would have sort of helped pop him off in that direction but the fact that nasty c would then have the power to claim that aries is eating because of him i think then makes it a good decision from Ace to say you know what let me pull back and let me try doing this thing on my own the only thing and this is what i also said in that video I came out and I said, listen, the only thing I have a problem with with how A. Wees handled that situation is the fact that he didn't just come out and upright tell him, you know, because I felt he is a big enough artist. Nasty is a big artist. A. Wees is also a big enough artist. I think it was a big enough artist to actually tell, you know, Nasty C, not just not show up, but just tell the guy and say, yo, looking at this situation, I don't think it makes me look proper as far as my image is concerned. If you want me on your show, perhaps we do a show together may perhaps we do a tour together because i do believe that me and you are on par as far as success is concerned i think that would have made it less a situation where nasty c can claim 
well, I was trying to help him and he's the problem, you know? Um, because I don't think Nasty C is innocent in this. Um, as much as I do think Awis has his fault, I don't think Nasty C is, in, is, is innocent in this. But how Awis handled that situation is actually what's giving Nasty C now the upper moral position to say that I didn't do anything wrong. He's the one that did everything wrong. And he's the one that's actually, you know, the reason this beef extended more than it was supposed to be. I was trying to settle it and he wasn't trying to settle it. But we can see that even with the settling it, it wasn't settling it on in, on equal footing. It was settling it on saying well i still want to have the, the upper position anyway like i'm saying i do think that you know these two in future should you know at some point settle this i don't know when that is going to happen uh in fact at this point i think it might never happen because you know both of them are successful in their own right uh, i do think aries doesn't necessarily need nasty to gain more clout you know in the continent and you know outside the con outside the continent in the context of europe and america i think he can do that all on his own just you know if he decides to push more um as far as you know the whole media thing is going on because i do feel aries does I, I don't know whether it's imposter syndrome or what it is but he does have this thing where he's sort of uh pulled away from you know the mainstream side of things so he's sort of a mainstream artist that's not necessarily that's not necessarily mainstream so he He's on the internet, he's popping and so on. But if you look at radio, you know, it doesn't seem like he messes too much. He tries too hard to get the radio to play him. It doesn't seem like he tries too hard to get, you know, the media, like your know, SABC and all these other things. And I relate to that because I'm also an internet dude, as you guys will already know. And I relate to that feeling where, you know, you're popping on the internet, but you don't necessarily pay too much attention to the media side and, you know, uh, the traditional, you know, outlets that, you know, hop up with artists and popping. But I do believe that that's what keeps you mainstream so he does need to work on that but i don't think he necessarily needs nasty or needs another artist to get him there i think he can do that on his own um he just needs that extra push but y'all leave me your comments in the comment section letting me know what you think about this what do you guys think of nasty c coming out and basically saying yo him and aries not making music again and he was ready to help aries eat do you guys think that aries wasn't eating before nasty c called him out or do you guys think that nasty c's shows and nasty c working with aries would have helped him eat even more y'all leave me your comments and definitely subscribe awesome